Oh, hello, hello. Welcome back to another Let's Play Yakuza Like a Dragon. Okay, give me a second here. We'll start up. Just one second. We'll start our little show here. Upcoming. There is no upcoming. We are here now. We are streaming. Upcoming. We are here now. We are streaming. Hey, how's it going, Elvin? How you doing, bro? How's your night going? Sorry, we streamed so late. We were hanging out at Rhoda's. He was doing some streaming. We were hanging out at Rhoda's. He was doing some streaming. Yeah, Metal and I were at Rhoda's streaming. Alright. Oh, I had to do some off screen grinding here. Oh, yeah. We have so got to get these characters' bonds up. Yeah, these characters need to be bonded so they level up faster. <laughs> I must say this place is quite comfortable. Yeah, ain't it? Also, seriously, man, how's a guy make drinking alone look so cool? Guess it's easy when you're as handsome as you. <laughs> That's kind of you to say. Why don't you let me buy you a drink? Yo, for real? <laughs> hey, now you're speaking my language, man. You certainly are a mysterious one, Kasuga-san. Songhui speaks highly of you as well. I dare say it makes me jealous. Oh, come on. Uh, speaking of... That character is so <laughs> awesome. The one in the black hoodie. And the lady of the house thing going on. It's only been three years since I was brought into the Komijul. I swear I he's like our John me. Woo. No shit. Up until then, I was with a group called the Jingon Mafia. I was their leader's body double. Body double? You mean like a decoy? Just like the real thing? Indeed. If my master was ever targeted by our enemies, I was to be killed in his place. That was my duty. I didn't figure people still did that kind of stuff. Uh, but wait, does that mean your face is... An imitation, yes. What you see is a result of large-scale plastic surgery. But I'll have you know my previous face was rather handsome as well. A shame not a single picture of it exists anymore. Really? Out the window then, huh? In a manner of speaking, yes. So that means Junki Han isn't your real name either, right? What's your real name then? <laughs> Surely we're not that close yet, are we? Come on! first step in becoming friends is calling each other by name, right? Hmm. Well, isn't this awkward? I'm afraid I'm the type to want a bit more distance with people. Is that how it was with the Jingon Mafia? From the name... Yep, I'm tonight's the night. Sort of it's my last out. night of streaming on the PlayStation 4. are a member of the Tojo clan, Kasuga-san? I'm surprised you've never heard of the Jingon Mafia. I was yep. in the clan for a long time. The Jingon Mafia and the Tojo clan clashed in the 1980s, long before you were serving time. The 80s? Dude, that's 40 years ago. I was just a baby back then. Doubt I even had hair. Yes, I had yet to be born myself. Regardless, early in the decade, the Tojo clan attacked the Jingon Mafia and massacred a great number of them. Around 30 or so. 30? Back then, Kamurocho was the most sought-after territory in all of Asia. I've heard the conflicts for control were rather intense. The Tojo clan was incredibly strong. Yep, sure PS5 tomorrow. Perfect. Still, to all 30 of them is... To get their revenge, the Jingon Mafia main arm in Korea sent... Oh my god. 
You do it it again, high metal. Deception is a tricky business, and all who could not strike at the heart of the Tojo clan were considered failures and forbidden from returning. Where's the game I was promised? Oh, I love it. Were abandoned and left without any place to go. One of them happened to be my father. Then you were born here. It Japan. just keeps people in suspense. Yes, that as it may, <laughs> you just don't even got to say here. the name of the game. I wasn't even accepted by any Korean communities either. My family was treated like slime and kicked out from uh, where we went. I love it. Came to be called it's just great. Jingon Mafia. Running away whenever we were discovered. Slimes who run away, huh? You're slimes who run away. The reason they chase you is because you're worth tons of experience. <laughs> I get it. You're into video games, aren't you, Kazuga? Yeah, I played a lot as a kid. Well, you might be surprised to learn I am too. We should talk shop sometime. Hell yeah! So, what happened to the straight Jingon after that? Enter the 21st century, the winter of 2006. Around so how's your guys' this night going? The Jingon Mafia from the mainland made an all-out assault against the Tojo clan. But even as that happened, the stray Jingon Mafia received not a word of warning. We were left completely in the dark. Our fathers were entirely yep. forgotten by the country. Bo both uh, Ichiban and... Uh, the assassin boy were both gamers. Oh, yeah, he's right in front of me. <laughs> I got tossed out by my family and locked up for 18 years. I like to call him John Woo oh. because he does John Woo right. moves. That must be why I can't bring myself to hate you, Kasuga-san. So, what happened to the Jingon's big all-out attack? Despite their careful planning, they were all. Because every time I say his name, I butcher it. <laughs> Ironically, those that survived came from all over to join those of us in the stray Jingon Mafia. <laughs> it was a miserable sight. Both sides cut off from home and left with no choice but to band together in the social sewer of a country that wasn't theirs. Sounds like you struggled. I wouldn't know it from looking at you, though. I could say the same to you. Yeah, finally starting to warm up to me? It would seem so. I haven't been acting much like myself today. I had a great time drinking with you, Kasuga-san. I truly mean that. So whatever happened to the real Junki Han? What's he up to now? He revived the Jingon Mafia roughly three years ago, and at that time had taken over a considerable portion of Kamurocho. But he was shot in the head and killed. I was absent at the time. And it all came crashing down, huh? Hmm? Wait. Then that means... Can't you use your real name now? Why keep up the body double thing? <sighs> you're... Uh... You're not trying to become the real Jungi Han, are you? Uh, who can say? But that's none of your concern. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this assassin boy's wrong. name. Nope. Uh, He's either. John Wu. <laughs> your name is John Wu, well. sir. Guess he's not the type to open up so easily. <laughs> I'll just have to keep drinking. You're a John Woo in my eyes forever. Bond level one. Oh boy, we have a lot of work to do off screen later. Oh, Bumba. We almost forgot about you. Oh boy, that's not, a, oh, that's a lot of work, get him to five. Okay, so I guess Namba's next. Hey Namba, you thinking what I'm thinking? If it's a drink you want, I can't. 
have to take care of some shopping. <laughs> you? Shopping? It's for the bartender. Uh, they told me he'd give me an extension on my tab if I ran a couple errands for him. <sighs> Pain in the ass all the same. <laughs> you are Fucking giving a much number. better deal than he is. You're a pain in the so. ass, Namba. In any case, I'll see you around. Okay, see you in a bit. Pain in the ass, Namba. Running around doing manual labor at my age. <laughs> Where did I go wrong? So, Namba and Mizue-chan. I assume you're hatching a plan to reunite them? Hold on. How in the heck did you... Eavesdropping on customers has never been my policy. But you two hardly count. You mean you were listening in when Namba was pouring his heart out? Not like I tried to. I just happened to be at the counter and something he said made me put two and two together. What do you mean? There's a bar I go to every so often. Just got themselves a new hostess. I believe her name's Futaba. What's she got to do with Namba? Well, as it turns out, this Futaba had been a nurse up until just recently. She was telling me about her nursing life at the hospital and in the middle of her story, wouldn't you know it, a medicine theft turned up. She said a nurse who worked there, some guy, admitted to the theft before the cops could get involved. What? But that... that could only mean... I know. She had to have been talking about Namba. If that's true, then the two of them work at the very same hospital. Naturally, I'd assume she would know when Mizue-chan is leaving. Have you told Namba any of this? No, not yet. Besides, he said it himself. He couldn't reach out to his colleagues even if he wanted to. <coughs> on the other hand, I'm sure his drinking buddy could reach out on his behalf. I get you. Man, you came strong with that one. Oh, Listen, man. Oh, that Namba is such talk, a troublemaker. I wouldn't tell Namba if I were you. Yeah. I wouldn't want to make it seem like I'm doing it behind his back. What are we going to do with our black so mage? I called Futaba's bar and spoke to the mama there. She said Futaba's on her way. She's on her way here? Wait, is that why you sent Namba shopping? Dude, how do you think that many moves ahead? Bringing people together is what a bartender does. All I can do is facilitate. The rest is up to you. Then I won't let this chance go to waste. Hey, so oh, there she is, the girl me. that your Futaba son in the flesh. Futaba son, <laughs> am I supposed to know you? No, I just wanted to ask you a few things. Uh, here, have a seat. How long is this gonna take? Are we I'm interrogating? Today, I, to hit the pachinko parlor. I hope not. Okay, I'll make it quick. And now, listen, you were a nurse before, right? Yeah, and one of your colleagues got fired for selling off meds. You remember who that was? God, how would I know? I'm sure you heard something. I'm thinking he's a friend of mine. Look, the only thing I know about it is that the guy was some four-eyed mope. Oh, that has to be Namba. <laughs> that name does ring a bell. Hey, hon. No way. Shut up! They raised the jackpot?! Babe, do not let anyone sit there! I'm on my way right now! Before you go, tell me, do you know anyone named Mizue-chan? She worked with you at the hospital and- Who even cares? You're wasting my pachinko time! Wait, we're not done! Hey, guys. Namba, hey! Back already? Man, you shop quick. Yeah, well, I forgot the shopping list, so I had to come back and get it. Anyway, who was that walking out of here just now? Did you say what? I couldn't see her face or anything, but wasn't there a lady just in here? Nah, you need better glasses, man. Nobody came in or out of here, right, bartender? Uh, yeah. Huh? Is there a reason you two are acting suspicious as hell? Whoa, let's tone it down, buddy. Could it be oh my the god. You were conspiring. Yes, we're out to get you, Namba. Surprise birthday party? Uh -huh. Yes, you we're throwing a party, a that's it, bro. Up. So you two must have gotten together to plan the whole thing out. Uh, yup. You got us, man. Yes, it's a party. Now the surprise is ruined. See, I knew it. 
You always go over the top when it comes to these things. So, what kind of party are we talking here? Give me a hint. Uh... Uh, I can't give away too much, but we were thinking it'd be like a cocktail party. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I mean, we all know how much you love to drink. Does that mean we get to dress up and eat hors d'oeuvres, too? Oh, that would be classy. <laughs> I won't spoil any more. We'll just have to wait. Uh, <laughs> finally, a happy birthday. Yep, that was the Butaba lady. All right. So we'll end up seeing her again later. Drinking. I'll be here, man. Oh, and you better not pull some. I forgot my wallet crap again. Shoot. I actually did forget my wallet. <laughs> this guy. Yes! Alright, level four! Good! Good, that's exactly when I needed him to be at. Alright, we're gonna finish off her, her little thing. Oh my god! Is that Naroha? Yo, Sachan. Huh? Uh, Sachan? Uh, wait. You're not Sachan? It's nice to see you again, Kasuga san. We met at Sunlight Castle, isn't that right? Wait. Are you Naroha san? But why are you here? Who told you to meet me? <laughs> She's messing with them. She put a wig on. Oh, Sachan, you're a bully. It's me, Ichiban. Look closer. It's me, Psycho. Oh, Bad Psycho. So it is you, Sachan. If you can't see through it, then my performance must be good. I'm sure Katsuragawa will think I'm Nanoha too. Yeah, for sure he will. Even though, <clears throat> actually, I was just pretending to be tricked. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Anyway. I figured out where to find Katsuragawa. Nanoha's gonna pay him a surprise visit and tell him to hit the road. You're still coming with me, right? He's at his office right now. He said it was a consulting firm, but it's actually an illegal loan business. And his bodyguard and his employees, they were all in that shady biker gang he used to be in. Scum collects around other scum. Man, how did Nanoha get caught up with people like that? She might just be the kind of girl who's into it. Or maybe I shouldn't have butted into her life so much. You probably understand by now how bad I feel about all this. Hey, maybe it wasn't you. Maybe she's just the kind of girl who's into bad boys. Either way, let's go fix this for her. Time to take yeah, the that other lady was messed up. Yeah, that other lady was messed up. Yeah, that was pretty messed up what she did to Namba. Wait, what the fuck? Are you serious right now? I knew something was up with you. Showing up out of the blue like this. What's gotten into you? You realize what you're doing? I sure as hell do. I'm saying I won't give you any more money. Okay, but... And that means you have no reason to be with me, right? So we're breaking up. For good. Oh, come on, babe. Don't be stupid. It's not like I was going out with you just for the money. Well, it doesn't matter anymore. Just give me what you owe me. Right here, right now. What? I, I can't right now. I, I gotta throw two million at my company soon, or it'll go belly up. Sweetie, you know how hard I've worked for this. I just need a little more. You could pull in two mil back at the Soapland easy. Hey man, I gotta ask. How much have you already borrowed from Nanoa? Hey man, I gotta ask, how about you fuck right off? If she lent you two million on top of everything else, how much of that total do you plan on paying back someday? Oh you my god. Back down out of my yeah, ass, we are so beating these dudes' asses. Of your you don't know, do you? 
Yeah, you want to borrow even more. You're lucky not to You're whoop your ass, son. I'm lucky because Nanaha and I are in love. Money don't matter to us, right, babe? It's fucking tight. Two million yen? 1.3 million yen. Probably one million. Borrowed from Nano or some. Hey, Yamashita, stay out of this. Nobody asked you for a thousand bucks. I don't know. It wasn't my place. I'm not sure uh, how it works these up, days. Good man. So, we'll be taking that 1.3 million back today. Who are you anyway? You're a real Yakuza looking motherfucker. Maybe you're trying to take my girl's money for yourself. That's none of your concern. Give me back my money so I can be on my way. Mama, oh, we're so gonna on. beat their asses. Remember what you said? How you always dreamed of what we have? Nanoha really loved you that much. We're perfect for each other. Honey, you're a sweet angel. And I'm the guy who protects you from all the bastards of the world. Oh, so that's the excuse you've been using for dragging her down. He's one of the bastards I'm talking about! Yamashita, what are you waiting for? Toss this guy out on his ass already! No. Haven't you done enough? What? What did you say? Sir, step back and take a look at yourself. You need to let Oh, shoot. Go. Well, at least there's She's one good person on the other side. Father. She needs the money. Besides, you've got a bunch of other girls coming around anyway. What the hell are you doing? I'm doing what's right, boss. You can't just keep squeezing the poor girl dry. And she shouldn't have to work at no damn soap land. I can't just sit by and watch this happen to an innocent woman. It, it just ain't right. Yo, why don't you think about who you're talking to? I'm the guy who saved your ass when you were a zit-faced teenager, remember? So unless you want to go back to being everybody's little bitch... <laughs> Every time someone calls you out or wants to leave your ass, you just make threats? Are all your boys with you just out of fear? I bet they all hate your guts. Alright, I'm just fucking sick of you now. Oh all yeah, you, we're about to throw down. Your dicks in your hands and throw this guy out! Yamashita too, you goddamn traitor! <sighs> Damn, it just got cursing up in this biatch. Well, except for Yamashita-kun acting like a real man. Yep. That was a nice surprise. No kidding. You know, I've been looking for an excuse to cut ties with him. Maybe it's even simpler than that. Maybe you just like Nanawa. Yeah. Maybe that's it. Yeah, what time to beat do, that ass. <laughs> well, that's great, Yamashita Kun. Kinda cute, honestly. Yeah, yeah, you'll both be real cute after I crush you into little pieces. Here we go. Ass whooping time. Let's get him. That dude just sliced me with a knife. These dudes are hella weak. I was expecting more. Please, I forget. Stop hitting me. There ain't no strong sorry, people in these little stories. Come on, where's all that fighting spirit? Because Dr. they're Bond Gala. stories. Don't tell me you've had enough. <sighs> Give back all the money you borrowed from Nanoha right now. And get the hell out of Eugene Show. If I see you around town again, I'll kick your ass even harder. If you reach out to Nanoha, yeah, kick his ass harder, Ichiban. Okay, okay, I got it. Please, just let me go. <laughs> All right, I won't hit you again. I won't. Huh? You asshole! Don't you ever take advantage of a woman ever again? Oh. Guess where she kicked him. Wait, are you for real? This is Nanoha's sister? She has a twin? Damn. Sorry to disappoint you, Yamashita-kun. 
I know you probably in the butterflies, you guessed it. There's only one place Sorry, a woman can sure. kick a dude when she wants to no, hurt him. That's all right. I mean, running him off still makes life better for Nanoha-san. That's what matters. So you're gonna keep acting like you never knew she worked at the soap plant? Damn. Yes. And this whole cops are a gal. Right, in the butterflies. I am dead serious about this. Okay. But she's definitely going to notice that her boyfriend suddenly skipped town. And kick him into butterflies. Just it happened right bam. A phone call from her estranged sister, telling her to bash. Boom. Uh, what are you saying? You don't think she'll figure out her sis had something to do with his disappearance? <laughs> I mean, it'll almost be too obvious that Psycho said something to make him leave. Whoa, now that you say that, yeah. That's fine, honestly. Can't really do much about it now, can I? But what if Nanoha gets pissed at you again? I thought you wanted to have a relationship. <laughs> For reals, Alvin. For reals. Her happiness is my top priority. Yep, that's usually how it second. goes. <laughs> Still kind of sucks if she ends up hating you after you did so much for her. She would have ended up broke if she stayed with that douchebag. You deserve some credit. I'm just grateful I can still talk to her on the phone. All I want is for her to be happy. Still. Huh. I could always tell Nanoha-san it went down like this. Like what? I'll tell her Katsuragawa's firm took a nosedive and he bailed to escape all his debts. But I got him to leave enough to pay her back. That way, she can get her money without knowing you two were involved. Nice plan. What a nice like dude. It conveniently gives you all the credit, Yamashita-kun. See, I knew oh, there was some right. nice person out there for Nanoha, hon. I don't want to take all the credit. After all, I only said what was true. It killed me to see you're caught up in Katsuragawa's game for so long. I, I think we found a winner, Psycho. She ever needed it. But then I'd make excuses, telling myself it wasn't the right time. When I saw her, well, when I saw someone I thought was her, demanding what she was owed, I knew the time had come. Sachan, you hearing this? What do you think? Hey, Yamashita-kun. Yeah? Let's say you're at a restaurant or a store. How exactly would you treat the staff? I, I just try to be as polite as possible. Even though people don't expect it because of how I look, it's still the right thing to do. Okay. Well... You pass for now. <laughs> Setting the bar for being your sister's squeeze kind of low, aren't you? I said for now, didn't I? Huh? Don't worry. I'm still going to watch over Nanoha from my big sister perch somewhere. So if uh -oh. Shida-kun turns out to be a total creep, then I'll just have to step in. Whatever it takes to make her happy. I get that. I'd want the same. <laughs> You're a good sister, Sachan. I'm sure not. Well, oh, there's a pact right there. You we'll heard it. Later. Thanks so much, Ichiban. That's twice now you've helped me save my sister. I really am grateful, you know. I'm glad you're in my life. All right. We did it. Bonded her out. Perfect. Okay, now we can get out of here and keep going. Oh man, let's see. No, I think it's about time to switch my weapon for Ichiban. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Hey. It's time to advance the story.
Yeah, it is kind of funny. In Yakuza 4, you could trip everybody. They won't say jack shit. You could just trip people, like thousands of people, and they won't say nothing. <laughs> Young master. They'll freak out, and like everybody will look look at you. So you just like move past them all. It's kind of funny. They even have a trophy for it called the Karamocho Stampede. It's been a while, young master. I figured you'd want to see me. I know what you want to ask. It's kind of funny. <laughs> a trophy for a tripping people around town. Why did I help destroy the Tojo Clan? In the city. And, are you curious about my lack of a wheelchair these days? You actually willing to explain? I love you too, Zephor. It's one of my favorite. You the like games in the series. I got a lung transplant. Did you know that if you drop a stack of cash into the right palm over there, you can buy an organ? Incredible. But even with deep pockets, nothing is simple for the son of a Yakuza boss. That why you changed your name? Yes. I did it because I was born the son of Masumi Arakawa. And because my condition robbed me of the youth everyone else got to have. I was happy to change my name and start a new life separate from all of that. <laughs> and look at the results. I'm not only the governor, but also the chair of the ruling party. <sighs> What's wrong? You can't bring yourself to congratulate me? Not from the heart, no. Are you even happy as a politician? Politics is a good life. Unlike the Yakuza, you don't have to use violence to assert control. I can improve people's lives, and they're grateful to me for it. You think Ogasawara is grateful? You killed him. <laughs> oh, that. That was just a sensible precaution. Man, listen to yourself. Yep. <laughs> Come on. After you kidnapped he him, is he evil. About Bleach Japan. He's you very know, evil. He was never much for discretion. He swore to me that he didn't tell you anything, of course. But I could see the truth in his eyes. That sealed his fate. So, you just kill people over an assumption? Without even bothering to check? I'm checking now. Did he tell you the secrets of Bleach Japan or not? Well, that's... I mean... Oh man, that's the difference between him and Ichiban. But he was your buddy. He helped you start Bleach Japan. Being at the top means you have to know when people are no longer relevant. Ichiban's like, like the son, right? My father looked the pure-hearted, and this dude's when he had to, just he ungrateful and just that's not evil. How it went down. He asked me to go to prison to keep the whole Arakawa family safe. You think that's why? Captain Sawashiro killed some guy who reported directly to the Tojo clan. If we had let Sawashiro get arrested, the Arakawa family would have had to own up to it, since they were lower on the ladder. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Whether you went to prison or not, Sawashiro wasn't going to be arrested. You don't know that. Uh-oh. Oh, but I do. The because truth's Sawashiro about to come out. In the first place. What? As I recall, that night was the last time I saw you. Yeah, that club in Kamurocho we went to. On New Year's Eve. You're in for a slow story, people. Yeah. Hope you guys got snacks. Right. I've certainly had better nights. What? Young Master? How long have you been there? Um, young master? So, did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. 
If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Get up! You can't sleep here, you fucking drunk! Come on, move your ass! F fuck off, man. This building's my family's property. So clear out. Go on, go! Yakuza? That means you're garbage. What you say? Don't touch me! You're a power to turf now, fool! In this town, let me go! Fear the Yakuza! I don't know what backwoods village you might be from, but you're about to learn about Kamurocho the hard way, motherfucker! <laughs> you think you're hot shit because you know how to hold a gun? Where'd you buy that thing, huh? Your local toy shop? Huh? You want me to pull the trigger, you son of a bitch? Do it if it's even a real gun. Go on. Do it! <laughs> Come on! Fucking do it if you've got the balls. Can't do it, huh? That what the girls say about you too? <sighs> Little bitch like you ought to know better. Now you're dead. <clears throat> Dumbass. Do it if you're gonna. Zero. I, I fucked up. I killed the guy. the one who killed Suzumori? Yes. I told Sawashiro what I did, then went home. Lucky for me, there were no witnesses. 
So I didn't go in Sawashiro's place. I went in your place. <laughs> That's right. Dad sold you to the law to protect his only son. <sighs> Obviously, he couldn't just tell you how it really happened. That's why he lied that you were taking the fall for Sawashiro. You swallowed the bait whole and happily marched yourself to the station. So tell me, do you still trust the old asshole? <clears throat> I can only imagine how you must feel. Doing 18 years of hard time would have been bad enough. But then there was the other event. After giving him such a huge portion of your life, you finally see him and... Bang. Right? <clears throat> Must feel horrible even now. I'm counting on you, Ichi. Well, say something, Ichi. It doesn't matter what you say. I trust Arakawa san. Then answer one question for me. Why are you in Ichincho? Couldn't tell you. Maybe because I'm Ichi Bad Kasuga. The guy who hits rock bottom, but always crawls back up. I see. Even after all these years, somehow you've managed to stay just as dumb. It's kind of touching. Nostalgic, even. I can't even bring myself to be mad. What an honor. You know, I thought this meeting was gonna be a setup. But you came alone, like you promised. So I guess I'm touched too. What? You thought I'd have you killed? No. There's no sense in squishing an ant. I'll let you live. We do go way back after all. But I do have one condition. Don't ever come near me or dad again. Understand? Well, I've got my own condition. Pull out of Ichin Show and get Kume to end his campaign. Pardon? I may not be cut out for politics, but Kume sure as hell ain't either. Actually, the Citizens Liberal Party agrees with you. Kume is ignorant and inexperienced. If he didn't have our support, He'd lose for sure. Then why are you having him run? <laughs> so everyone can see my value. Uh, what? Think about it. If Kume wins, how will the Citizens Liberal Party react? They'd realize that an endorsement from Rio Aoki can turn entire elections, even in favor of a Simmerton. It will be crystal clear that I have the skill and influence to replace Okikubo. They'll watch and learn. So, Kume's just a tool to you. An election is nothing more than a game of strategy. Are these Ijinjo revitalization shelters part of your game too? Oh, those. <laughs> those are the most useful tools of all. With them, I can round up all the illegal residents at once. <sighs> Wait, what? I thought the shelters were helping people get visas. <laughs> Don't be absurd. The people going to them would never qualify for visas. The shelters will bus them to the Immigration Bureau, where they'll be deported. For real? You're lying to them right to their faces? I'm not lying. The shelter's purpose is there in its name. It's revitalizing Yijincho by cleansing it of criminals. Just give me an answer. Are you going to accept my conditions or not? Absolutely not. Well... Then I guess there's no chance of us finding common ground. Uh, ew. Did you actually think I'd come Looks here? Looks like we're about to have trouble. Negotiate? Remember what I said earlier. The only reason you're still alive is because I took pity on you. If I stop pitying you, you don't have much left. What the 
hell is this? I thought the young master said he would come alone. That makes you a fool for believing him when he said it. And for rejecting his offer. Dang, they had us surrounded the whole time. Guess I'm kind of old-fashioned that way. I tend to take people at their word. Alone means alone. This way, Ichiban! Ha! Ah. Well, I'm not alone either, motherfuckers. Guys, why are you here? That's right, push the trash can in the way. Let's go, baby. Woo! Always listen to a doctor. He's the smart one. Oh, damn. Uh, just the infill missed a few grounders. Time to call up the reserves. Let's give Captain Sawashiro a show. Break through him! Right. Here we go! You're gonna get stopped. Dang, he resisted. All right. Yeah, we're not trying to use too much magic here. Gotta save our skills for big shit. Ooh! Dang! Yeah, uh, that's right. Yeah, get him. Jump his ass. Yeah. Got that is. Oh, good shit. Oh, boy. Saw a little much just to take me out. Come on. Maybe it is, but then again, you did survive being shot, so taking precautions makes sense. So this here's the guy who took a bullet from the cat. Thought you'd have some meat on you, but you're kind of scrawny, ain't ya? <laughs> Don't get cocky. He's make one sure to talk. He He's a scrawny mopro too. Case, how about we draw and quarter him? <laughs> No way he pulls out of that one, eh? <laughs> Do what you must. That's a big ass blade he's carrying. <laughs> Ever seen a tuna carving? Get ready for Good the Lord. human version. When I'm done, I'll put his head in a put box down the and knife, ship sir. it tomorrow. Just do it right. You leaving? Scared? No. I just don't want any of your blood on my suit. So you're still the type to leave all the dirty work to your peons. Guess after all these years, you didn't learn shit from Arakawa-san. You never shut up about the boss. I've always hated that. Let him say what he wants, boss. <laughs> Poor little shit only has a couple of minutes to live. Yeah, what a no, wicked little bastard. Enough talk. Kill him already. <laughs> Let's start the dissection. Ugh. Ugh. 
He's a creepy looking motherfucker. Ugh, yeah, ah, uh, shit. Well, might as well get rid of these dudes in the back first. It's Dexter. <laughs> That's funny. you weak against nope you're gonna be in a world of hurt you're weak nope it's like they gotta let's see what you got magic man oh we lit him on fire Hey, don't shoot my black mage, you asshole. You're just pissed because he attacked you, you sissy. I hope I shock you. Give it to you, sissy man. Ah! You're gonna be in a world of Get him. Alright, the real war begins. your ass. What you gonna do, sissy? Weak against punches. That's good to know. All right, we did it. and ship it to the captain? I'm 
sure he'll be surprised to see your head in there then. <laughs> that guy was really gross. Are all Omi Alliance dudes like that? They're the biggest Yakuza group in the country. I'm sure they have even crazier guys. And that's what's flooding into Ijincho? Great! Ichiban! Hamako-san? Is something wrong? I was just at the shelter. The shelter? I was taking something to one of the girls. She forgot it at my place. But... But they were all gone. None of the staff would tell me where they went. I don't know what's going on. Calm down, Hamako-san. Please, help me find them. Hey, I'm really, really sorry. But they aren't in Japan anymore. What? The shelter was just a trap for mass deportations. No! Those girls, they don't have anyone to help them in the countries they came from. That's why they came to a Jincho in the first place. I just wanna... I just wanted to give them a chance. How did this happen? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Hamako-san. If only I hadn't told them to go to the shelter. If only I'd realized sooner. It's not your fault. You did what you thought was best for them. He's right. Don't blame yourself. You were on their side until the end. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, I'm back. I told Hama to get some rest. Hey, sweet pumpkin, Thanks, how's it going? Eugene Cho just keeps taking hit after hit. Remember what Jungi Han said? How we should basically get out of here while we can? Maybe we should consider that. For real. Hey, Metal. How's it going? Welcome back. You want to run? I mean... Isn't the situation kind of hopeless at this point? Hopeless, huh? Well, you got a place we can all go? Oh, uh, not off the top of my head, no. I'm but doing all right. right. Nope. I don't even have family to stay with. It's been a slow I night. It's raining. Psycho? I mean, I could leave, but I would never abandon my sister or my father like that. Sounds like we've settled that then. Settled what? That none of us can run away from this. We're in the same boat as the Komi Jewel and the Liuma. So our only option is to fight, with or without hope. And personally, I say there is hope. How? How is there a chance of winning? It doesn't matter. A long time ago, Arakawa-san told me something. If you go into a fight thinking oh, you have yeah. a chance Oh yeah, it helps win, me sleep. That's bold. for sure. I love the rain. What the hell? Not gonna lie, that sounds kind of stupid. Hell no. A real fight's when you go up against I someone love so rain. strong, you got no chance. I got no problem Our with rain. Are the Omi Alliance and the Citizens Liberal Party. The crime lords from below are teaming up with the law from above. And I say bring it on. We're going up against all of Japan, basically. Too much for you, Adachi-san? Going soft on me? Don't be stupid. I couldn't ask for a better fight. Let's do it. But can we include Tokyo PD in that law part so I can kick their asses too? Hell yeah. Put them on the list. Good enough for me. I told you, you the main character's crazy. You know that, right? Crazy Ichiban. So tell me about it. But... Admit it, you like told that. you, Metal. He's crazy. Yeah. He's gonna He's take on damaged. the world. Nanba, Sachan. 
Join us and Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can skip the pep talk. <laughs> That's why I keep you guys around. You sure, Namba? Your brother's okay now, and he's getting married. What skin do you have in the game? Yeah, I know I've been a butt. But if my friends are gonna fight, so will I. I'm all in now. Besides, it'll make for a great speech at my brother's wedding. That settles it. Let's knock them on their asses. All right. Well, that was a pretty short chapter. No, that's just an inside joke that Metal uses. Oh, Zell's back. He's cooking. What you cooking, Zell? It's gotta be something good. No, don't lie, Metal. Come on. Can handle this chat. Oh, definitely. My stomach's a bottomless pit. Bon appetit. Ill and yeah. foul, you're killing me here. We got so focused on our food that we forgot to actually discuss anything. Oh, it is damn good. Ill and foul. Yeah, yeah. We have to get down to business. Guess I'm kicking us off. This is Kumekun, leader of Bleach Japan's Yokohama branch. I'm jealous. The He's food they're eating looks good. Representative seat in the next election. Now, what you gotta understand about this kid is he's just step one of Ryo Aoki's scheme to turn Ijincho. Oh, you mean my FF6 perfect Shots run? Correct. Kume is just one step. Aoki's other steps include a huge number of Bleach Japan candidates. Where I do everything. Yeah. Kill those dragons. Uh, and the dam is broken. There's no stopping it now. Governor Aoki's too. That's popular. what you want me to do. There's no one who can stand up to him. So you think Kume's win is a done deal, Chairman Ashino? That and Legend of Dragoon. Perfect Kume run. Has <laughs> Throwing out his fundraising and media savviness. Kume's got a very real no, show. Oh, man. I'd say so. Oh, uh, now, so now, now she reminds me. Since it was Ogikubo's kingdom before, seizing it makes Aoki the new heir apparent. That's gotta be That food saying. looks good. Yes. I'm jealous of what they're eating. I, to say I just want to eat it. Since Liberal Party wins every other district, he won't be satisfied unless he wins this one. Can y'all just throw like, everything he's like got th th contest. throw it through the screen for me? Definitely. I'm jealous of y'all's food. Well, I'm not gonna roll over and just take it. Like, look Anyone at what Zal's eating. He's eating all. It looks what like what is why? that? Sweet and sour chicken? Sweet and sour pork? Sick of getting our asses kicked. We all are, but we can't just let him win. We need to Looks do good. I mean, Bleach Japan is in bed with the Omi Alliance. I know, and he, Isn't that like up? he could cook? It's, you know, hypocritical. They go around preaching about how gray zones need to go, acting like they're heroes or something. Meanwhile, they team up with gangsters to take over Japan, and everyone just claps for them. Thing is, Kasuga, these gangsters have a governor on their side. They're untouchable. Are you guys even hearing yourselves right now? What's gotten into you? The Eijing Three used to protect. The I don't know. Whatever it is, it looks edible. Granted, you did it by running a huge scam, so I'm not gonna give you too much credit. But after it looks damn good. You, don't you feel like you owe something <laughs> like, to it? Like, come on, just throw Look, it through I the screen for me. I want a bite. Just for the money. <laughs> Oki Kubo was the one raking in all the dirty riches. You guys wanted to stop a war from destroying this just, town. Just one. And it's fine. Just, just now, one. You're basically abandoning the my my chat's purpose. hungry. Feed it's them. You sure you want to finish that thought? Yeah, dial it down. Or I'll set you straight. 
Feed my chat members, they're hungry. Agree with him. Don't be stingy. Uh, you do? <laughs> Everything you said is true. We all lived in the gray zones, and sure, that ain't something to be proud of. But at least we could be proud of putting food on the tables of our men and their families. You're with me on that at least, right, Sonway? If we roll over, we will be throwing away everything we've ever worked for. Zhao. No, it's true. And remember, I left the Liu Meng in your hands. I trusted you to consider what my men need. This is shaping up to be your first job as their new boss. Come on, Song Wei. Damn it. Fine. Chairman Hoshino, you got any wisdom of your own to lend us? Well, I do understand the need to be fair to the city. I'll help. And to think, <laughs> I only came here for the food. Ha ha ha, he came here for the food. Ha ha ha. Oh, damn. No such thing as a free lunch. True that. Now let's go take care of it. I have to admit. I will enjoy not uh, I don't blame him. I came here for the food. Zhao's cooking. Must be damn good if he came there for a food. Don't you think it's obvious? No. What? We need to ruin the young master's reputation. Meaning? We gotta make sure Kume loses the election. Well, how do you propose we do that? Um, that part I hadn't really figured out. But once we do, it'll be like kicking Aoki right in the face. I don't see how it's feasible. I mean, we could maim him. He's too injured. He'd have to Come on, guys. Don't let him. that food go to waste. Either you're killing? eating it or you're giving it well, to me and my chat us. members. We can't do that. If he dies, I'll just replace him with some other tool. I'm sure they've got don't tease us. waiting in the wings. <laughs> hey, winning. That's how we do it. We just win it ourselves. Huh? We win the election with our own candidate. Put someone up who can get more votes than Kume. There's got to be someone out there who can do it. Yes, probably. But how do we figure out who this someone is? We're not political consultants. Well, we should remember the votes for Kume aren't really for him in the first place. They're votes for Aoki. Good point. Can you think of anyone who fits the bill, Chairman Hoshino? Unfortunately, I can't say I do. Ogi Kubo was an incumbent here for many years, but no opponents who posed any real threat. The only people who ever ran against him just did so as a formality. Hey, you seem to know a lot about it. Why don't you run? Excuse me? Yeah, people know who you are. You've got charisma. No Yakuza is going to win an election, even in the Jincho. But if he did, I'd consider the world doomed. <laughs> Seriously. But I could try to recruit someone who would have a chance in the race. That's a start. I hope you're not expecting me to shoulder this burden alone, though. What do you mean? Elections cost money. A lot of money. Yep, here's where the money can. comes in. Who's footing the bill for the campaign? Mm -mm. I'll tell you right now, my people don't have a single yen to spare. Right, so uh, how much is it exactly? I'm willing to chip in some myself, but I'll need an additional three million yen cash just to register. Three million? You need that much? On a minimum. If you can't scrape that amount together, this plan is dead in the water. <sighs> I hate to say it, but he's right. Can you do it, Kasuga-kun? Well, it's a good thing I have a lot of money. Taxi mobile. 
Yeah, they started selling that food. Frickin' Zell's gangster ass can make some food. Had to have been good, it looked frickin' great. Like, looking at it made me hungry, man. I was just like, dang. Feed me and my chat members. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, the next part's going to be extremely hard. Oh my God, I remember. What's all this about going to Osaka? Yeah, the, the, our event happens in Sotenbori. Arakawa-san needs some help. My help. Mitsu just called me and said Arakawa-san's already on his way to Sotenbori. Sotenbori. Or however you pronounce it. You, you realize Sotenbori is where the Omi Alliance is headquartered. You'll be screwed if your cover gets blown. Think about that, would you? All I need to think about is that Arakawa-san said he needs me. He's going to Osaka, so I'm going to Osaka. I don't care what anyone says about it. <sighs> he gets like this, Tadachi-san. And there's no point stopping him, is there? Loyalty is admirable. Jeez. Ichiban, what about Ijinsho? The election's coming up. We helped you make all that money to fight Ryo Aoki. Now you're just gonna leave us hanging? Not at all. We got the three million yen we needed. And I'm gonna go give it to the Seiryu clan right now. We may have the money, but that hasn't solved our lack of a candidate. Certainly a necessary element of the plan. Didn't Chairman Hoshino say he'd take care of it? Don't worry. He's the kind of guy who keeps his word. If we give him the cash, he'll do the rest. If you say so. Safe travels, then. Hey, don't encourage him to do such dangerous things. Kasuga, if you really are leaving, we're coming with you. Sounds good to me. I've never been to Osaka. Guys, I'm not going there as a tourist. I'm going straight into the lion's den. Assuming Adachi-san is right and that's where the Yomi home base is. You guys don't need to get involved. This is... personal for me. Come on, man. After all we've been through, aren't we friends? Of course. I'm saying this because we're friends. If something happens to me out there, you gotta finish what we started. Still sounds like a load of crap to me. Well, think what you want. Haha, <laughs> figures, Namba. And I'm taking it to Hoshino. I'll see all of you around. <laughs> Namba be talking shit. Where are we going? Oh, well. Whoops. Trapped in a parking lot. Nope. 
Move it, people. Emergency. Not very long. I bought this game uh, last month. Yeah, I've only beat it one time. Bow metal. <laughs> You're killing me here. Oh man. Don't make me belly roll like you did last time with the diaper man episode. Remember that? You're just like, oh my god, no. You had me going. <laughs> oh, you were killing me in the chat. <laughs> that was well. freaking funny. <laughs> Your reaction was so perfect, though. It was so hard not to laugh. Yep, dudes were wearing diapers. Then they forced my main character to drink baby formula milk. Then they put a diaper on him. <laughs> it was messed up. <laughs> they got some weird moments in this game. Lots of weird side missions. I can't force him to do anything. <laughs> what are you talking about, Metal? Why you gotta lie? It was all a part of the sub side mission. Yeah, there's side missions in this game. You can't blame that on me. Does my father really need to attend to this Sotomori thing personally? Yes. I can't help it that that was a dirty side mission. Was merely keeping the seed warm for what I say. Being there in person will be a show of respect and good faith. Fine. It could have been worse. Why am I just now a lot worse. I said I wanted to know if he so much as breathed somewhere outside his usual places. My apologies, young master. I only just found out myself. Really now? Well, all we can do now is wait and see. Hmm? Wait and see what, exactly? Asaru, <laughs> oh my god! My god. <laughs> there she goes again. <laughs> if I know my dad, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 
really doubt they're plotting anything. Isn't the only chairman still bedridden? Don't answer that, Elvin. Heard it's terminal. It's yes, a trap. That's correct. <laughs> then it's past time for a potential successor to be formally named. Actually, it may not be that urgent yet. But then again, the chairman might say Watase's release from prison is a good time to step down. And then Watase would become chairman, naturally. I'm sure his reign would be a very long one. <laughs> But Omi history will take a very different course if... Yeah, so, it was a weird fetish those dudes had. What? Those dudes had a weird fetish. I'm thinking dear old dad might try to make it happen. I don't know if that's Arakawa-san's style exactly. You don't Wait. think so? Remember when I asked dad to sell out the Tojo clan during the 3K plan? Well... I never told him oh, to feet? You're not you're not in the feet. Well that's understandable. It was a good decision, actually. Don't you? Uh well sure. Some Thanks dudes have him, foot fetishes. The three K plan was a wild success, and my approval rating skyrocketed. Those aren't I the worst the of clan to fall fetishes. Hard, I, didn't think some I can understand a woman like not liking feet. Worm his way into their top ranks. Shrewd of him to do that during all the commotion. I thought but he was men, men, men like Yakuza. women's feet. And certainly not the type of man who can catch that's, me on guard. That's just a thing since the dawn of time. Power really does corrupt, huh? Don't get me wrong. If Dad like it's always been that way. And takes over the Omi Alliance. I benefit too. Having him there would be very convenient for me. It's just. One thing that feels off. What's that? <laughs> he hasn't told me about any plan to off Watasi at their meeting. That's evidence against my theory. I'll have to see what happens. It could be worse. There if are worse fetishes out there. I was wrong. Look. There are far worse fetishes the out there. Hand, if he like Watasi, a lot worse. Fit to tell me. That would be a betrayal I cannot tolerate. Arakawa son won't be. There's some nasty stuff out there. His little Yakuza club only has power because I extend it to them. <sighs> I've come a long way since the Kamurocho 3K plan. I'm at the top of the political pyramid now, which means I need to know what's happening in the underworld. The hierarchy should be very clear at this point, and I expect people to fall in line. That's a matter of policy. Fee, fee, family is no fee is gross. Well, feet fetishes to you are gross. Sawashiro. But that's not up Between there, though. Not even close. No, not even feet? close. There's far worse shit than feet. Better to do as you command. His orders were to put you and your interests above everything else. N they're not w up there. They're worse. And far understood. worse. I'll send Tendo to Osaka. He seems to have rapport with. Well, maybe Osaka. for you, maybe. But I wouldn't. I personally wouldn't say it's up there. In but I, I personally wouldn't say it's up there on my list of the worst. Maybe on your list, but not mine. But if I went full detail into it, I can tell you there is far frickin' worse than feet fetishes. Oh, Patriarch Tindo, when'd you get in? There's people who like urine, there's people who like poo, there's people who like not something civilians like you need to worry about. The water puke. Cute fetishes, there's... Don't yeah, like that, yeah. that... Tent. Say what now? And then Nothing. there's the extremely... Do, like you said. Disturbing fetishes that people need to die for. And feet aren't even on that list. How would I know? Uh -huh. Have You could read, you could read a list of fetishes on Google. 
You do know that, right? Hey, can I get a refill over here? Oh, make it too. Hey, Ichiban. You look like a teenage girl waiting for a text from her boyfriend. Put it down and relax. There, there is a list of things that are yeah. barbers and feet We're fetishes. After all. Stop giving me shit. See, this is why I want to come along. Where are you going, Kasuga-san? I bet it's not to take a leak. You have to drink a sip. Oh, yeah. Okay, you're right. It's what people do to them. Okay. Okay, I can agree with that. Okay, that's something I can agree with. waiting for this call from Mitsu. Could be any second now. Didn't he say he was busy planning Watase's welcome back from prison party? Something like that. Some big party at Omi HQ. What a load of crap, huh? Can't he see that Arakawa-san's plans are way more important? Well, but wasn't he expecting oh. you to be here tomorrow, not today? Dude, you're the one who jumped the gun and got here early. It's kind of oh. douchey for you to complain now. Who are you, Mama Kasuga? Someone's gotta be. But hey, listen. I overheard something that'll interest you. There's yeah, so let's not talk anymore any more about that fetish. It's big news, apparently. Go eat. Really? Yeah. Sounds like folks are worried that a war might break out between Arakawa and Watase. Yeah, no more fetish rumor, talks. You're, you're gonna scare people. I got a text. Yeah? From Mitsu? Ah oh, man, what the hell? <laughs> People are gonna be watching my vid like, it's what the hell are God. they talking about? What does he mean, he fetishes? Me, I finally got a pick with Kamala. Great, so glad you told me about that, Nick. Feet hey, fetishes. Hey, my photo? <laughs> Nobody ever manages to get a pick like that. That bunny, he's so crafty, you never know where his fuzzy little ears will pop up. I'm myself. I can't oh yeah, I they're gonna know now I thanks to you. Feet fetishes. Uh, what's got your coat? <sighs> I'm sorry, but I'm really tied up right now. It'd be a they big talk about feet fetishes on on, okay? on this channel. Well, look who's a busy You're gonna have all the foot fetish weirdos coming over here. No, it's nothing about girls. Listen, I'll call you when things settle down. Talking about how they like to do things with the feet. They like to kiss them. They like to lick them. <laughs> I gotta go, man. <laughs> See what you did, Metal. I was trying to keep this a clean channel. This is all your fault. Hey, <laughs> Kasuga. If you're gonna be a pain in everyone's ass, just go to Home <laughs> You're gonna break all the weirdos over here. Come on. Since when do you sit around and wait for anyone anyhow? Besides, the war really does break out like these people think. Usually I'm gonna have to bust out the, the freaking water day. bottle and the newspaper. Hey, or the I squirt you bottle. You're absolutely right. Screw waiting. Time to go. Yep. That's it. Dang, I'm, I might need some extra backup just to ban a bunch of weirdos. <laughs> oh man. Listen. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, it's over. Yep. The power of the hammer.
Dos Hammer. Hammer! Yes, you look hammered. <laughs> Whoa. All right, we're in so Timbori. Ever thought the love of your life? <laughs> yeah, well. Oh, well, hello. Oh wow. Robots? Yappie. Huh? Uh, Yappie Coon. Hmm? Yappie Coon. Yeah, yeah, in Yakuza wow. 2, Yakuza Kiwami 2, I was throwing people in the river. Yeah, it's the same place, but it's in the future. Yeah. Next time. Yippee. Really? Ah, oh, they're just gonna force me to go with it, huh? Jerks. Didn't even ask me to just shove me in here. Sure, if you want to stream on your lunch, I'm about to wrap up our stream right now. Yo. <sighs> yep. Because I have a lot of off screen grinding to do. This is the battle arena. Hmm. Thirty floors. Because I have to do it more than once. It'll take a long time. I mean, a long time. That's thirty floors, and I have to buy a bunch of items back and forth through oh. different parts of the game through taxi yeah and it takes too long that's too many loading screens First fight. No. Got it. All right. 
Oh, what a nice robot. Yuppie! <laughs> it's yappy. <laughs> it sounds like a little kid. Yappy. <laughs> All right. Hell no, we ain't going there yet. It's too soon to go to Elmi. All right. I'll stop it right here. Alright guys. Yeah, I have a lot of grinding to do. Ooh, 7 million yen. Ooh, and then a extra 4 million yen and then another 4 million yen all right guys y'all have a good night <laughs> see y'all later